folks, I have decided to explore the Mahakali Caves and for which I have just reached the Andheri station. I plan to walk to Mahakali Caves. I am told that it is around 3 kilometers from here. So while walking I will show you parts of Andheri also. So let's go. So this is the area just outside the station. I have checked the map. It's about 3.8 kilometers. So it's a 3.8 kilometer walk. I think so this distance is too close for auto rickshaws. So as usual they are not willing to come. So I'll keep on showing you the parts of Fandheri as and when. I'm still walking. There's almost more than 25 minutes I'm walking and I took uh, instructions. It seems I'll have to walk for another half an hour at least. But the weather is okay. It's not very bad. But it is hot on the hotter side. So finally I am at the Mahakali Caves which is called as the Buddhist Caves at Kondavitu. There are 19 caves which were built between 2 century BC and 6 century BC. And there are, these caves are in two groups consisting of 14 water tanks and one rock inscription. Over a period of time, these caves went into oblivion. In the 19th century, British secretary, Mr. Eindhoven, was, was the first to know about these caves and recorded it in Bombay Castle. The rocks of the caves are prone to weathering due to volcanic top brashes which are situated on the hillocks. So let's go in. To reach here ultimately I had to take the auto. It cost me 60 bucks. I am understand that you have to take a ticket, you have to buy a ticket out here. So now I have taken the ticket. It was totally digital transaction. It cost 20 rupees per head. So this is how it looks. They have now completely walled this area because there was a problem of encroachment. So now this is the caves that are there. There are totally 19 caves I am told. I hope they have numbered the caves. Push. So these are basalt rocks. Some restoration work has been done out here. This is the first cave that I can see. Just go down. Now I'm taking the steps down. The 
This is one of the caves. They look like caves which are used for meditation, which probably the Guru is sitting on the podium out there. So now I'm walking out of the second cave. This place must have been home to many monks. Yes. So this is probably, this is called the Chaitya Kruha. As you can see, there have been some carving out there, but it is totally destroyed. Because it is a basalt rock and is subject to weathering. This seems to be another major area for They have made a walkway which takes you to all these caves So now, this is, and I can't see any caves here, but let's let me follow this path. Now this is the second set of caves which is actually diagonally opposite from where I came. It's a small hillock which I am covering. Let me just take the steps and go up and see if I can show you something. The steps going up. So I'm going to the top of the hillock. Standing now, the caves are beneath this rock formation and from here you can see Andheri you know when I was coming here when I told them that I want to see the Mahakali caves they were all sending me to Mahakali caves road no one really knew that there are these caves out here. What a fantastic place. Yeah. Just imagine this was built from 1 BC to 6th century BC. I can't even imagine how this would have looked when it was at its peak. Survey of India had to fence it 
or else you know this place also would have been subjected to encroachment so the, all the shops that you see are actually encroachment so we are going back so i'm going back to where so now going back actually i had read somewhere that there are inscriptions on the rocks on in the brahmi and devanagari language but here the people or nor could i see any inscriptions anywhere probably it is in the kaneri caves which i intend to cover next week let's see so folks i am through and now i am heading home please do let us know what do you think about this video and if you are here for the first time watching our channel request you to please subscribe like and share the video it really helps us bye till the next video